like, but we stopped way back there because there was too much snow and walked all this way, way the fuck up here to get my car. And the day before, he was supposed to come and pick me up to get my car. He didn't even call. Nothing, dude. Not a fucking thing. I had to fucking call him. And so I call him and then he starts like subtly complaining about it. And I tell him, bro, I don't fucking need to hear your fucking bullshit, bro. I'm the one who's fucking going through something. You fucking flaked on me also. Like, dude, look, I'll find someone else. I don't need your fucking help, dude, because your help is not going to be a help. You're stressing me out even fucking more. Um, so he's like, oh, no, 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 no. It'll be fine, dude. It'll be fine. And so this whole walk, he's like stressing about the time, stressing about how far the walk is, stressing about his fat fucking drunk ass wife. Like, dude, this fucking guy's just a fucking piece of shit, dude. And so we walked forever, but I was more concerned about this little bitch getting back to his fucking job that we didn't walk far enough uh, because I was too concerned for him. So um, this selfish fucking guy, dude, I guarantee you, dude, he's a fucking spoiled little cunt. Um, but, uh, so, so fucking, we end up fucking walking all the way back down here, which made him more late for what he had to do, but if he wouldn't have flaked on me, he wouldn't have been late, or had to be late, but, yeah, so, uh, so anyway, th later on that day, I get another friend to, with a big truck to give me a fucking ride up here, and we kept on driving and kept on driving and kept on driving, and there was my truck, um, so the whole point is, is that this guy's a fucking selfish little cunt. And if he wouldn't have been bitching the whole time and making me feel like fucking it's some sort of an issue and stuff, when when I told him I don't need his bullshit and I'll find someone else, um, he, dude, like, like, dude, just choose your friends carefully, okay? This guy, like, dude, at the drop of a hat, anytime he fucking like needed anything or fucking this and that, I was always fucking in my car out there to fucking help him at the drop of a hat, dude. Whatever, like, dude, at the drop of a hat. So, and I'm just telling you, man, like, you don't want people like that. P people who are just fucking, just so fake. I mean, he's such a fucking fake. His name's Jeff. He works at Domino's. He's the tall, gay-looking one. He's got the mustache, but he totally looks like a fucking queermo. Don't fucking, don't fucking tip that guy, man. Don't fucking tip him, because he, he's a fucking douchebag. I'm sure you guys have missed my rants, huh? <laughs> well, anyway, I'm, I'm going to end that one there. <laughs> but I'll show you how far we fucking walked. I mean, we're still walking here. So once we get to, to the point of where we decide...
everybody so yeah also I shaved my fucking beard too yeah because I was looking like dude just all the female Sasquatches were just all over me <laughs> I just couldn't deal with it um okay here we go I mean no offense but I am a, a little bit shallow like I I like girls that are physically attractive and I know I ain't no Brad Pitt but I'm just you know I'm fucking honest I'm not gonna lead someone on and, 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 and get them hurt fucking later on like, dude, I, I've, I've had to cut some shit off quick, and that sucks, but you, you gotta do it. You can't leave people on just for your own selfish needs. See those mountains in the distance? That's San Gorgonio. Once it have snow on them. You can see San Gorgonio Peak. It's the furthest one to the left. I can see it. I don't know if you guys can see it though. It's barely peeking up over. But once we get around this corner, you'll be able to see it more. So funny, man. Someone who doesn't live here, like, sent me a message when I mentioned in this uh, video previously that, hey, there's San, uh, you can see San Gorgonio right there. Like he was telling me that, oh, you, you can't see San Gorgonio from there because um, because Sugarloaf Mountain is, is blocking the view. And I'm like, what the fuck is this guy talking about, dude? I fucking live here, bro. Um, from my house, I can't see fucking San Gorgonio because it's fucking, um, it's being blocked by fucking mountains. But further away, like here, you can see San Gorgonio. Dude, it's so funny, man. Trying to tell me what I can and can't see in my own fucking town. It's hilarious, but anyway. So we're still walking, right? So we turn left here, and now he's really a whiny fucking cunt. And I got so pissed right here, I threw my snow shovel over the fence. And when my friend brought me back later, I went back over the fence and I grabbed it. This is a very expensive snow shovel. But yeah, Jeff was being a fucking punk ass. Man. Don't tip the guy, man. What I forgot, I have a sunroof. Cause in, in the winter time, obviously, I, I never use it. So. So we're still walking. And then right about here, 
right when we turn around this corner, I thought this is where I was stuck, right here. Right here in, in, in the snow, because I remember this hill being right down here. But I thought it was a little further up, but you know, my concern was for my friend, which is so ill, con dude, like dude, I am such a fucking thoughtful fucking person. Like, it's so fucking sad, man. Um, yeah, I'm fucking tired of it. So anyway, I'll show you, but I, so later on, my, my friend took me up here and we kept on going. And we eventually found the car, I'll show you where. Okay guys, like I think this is the exact spot. Watch out Gecko, right here. This is the exact spot, right fucking here. It was just so fucking deep and there was no more snow tracks. It was just all fucking deep, like two feet snow from here on out. And I had made it most of the way, but unfortunately it didn't make it from there. So now we get to go the rest of the way, I hope. This is my first time doing this guys, so I'm glad we're doing this together. We're de-virginizing ourselves. Coming into some big rocks here. Oh no, that's not a rock, it's a fucking branch. But we still don't want to fuck up our tires. 